the fire brigade on its way to a fire. Have you ever wondered what happens inside a fire station? Judy and Keith are on their way to see over a fire station in the city. Let's go with them. Inside the station, the firemen are busy at their work, polishing the hoses, overhauling the engines, and keeping everything spick and span. Oh, Judy and Keith here already. Here's Fire Officer Black, who's going to show them around. Hello, Judy. Hello, Keith. What a big place it is. Officer Black shows Judy and Keith the fire engines. They're always ready to leave because the quicker the firemen get to a fire, the better chance they have of putting it out. Judy finds a helmet on the driver's seat. Officer Black explains that the firemen wear these brass helmets to protect their heads from pieces of falling wood and brick when a building is on fire. Firemen wear these strong top boots, too, to protect their feet. The officer shows the children the axes, which the firemen use to clear away wreckage in burning buildings. Keith thinks he could use one, too. But firefighting is a highly trained job. If Keith wanted to be a good fireman, there are lots of things he would have to learn. He would have to go to classes and study hard. Out in the yard, some of the firemen are drilling. They have to keep fit, and regular practice is needed so that they will know exactly what to do at fires. Officer Black brings the children out to watch. He tells them that here the firemen are going to practice with the hoses, spraying water just as they would at a fire. and turns on the motor pump at the back of the fire engine. The pumps force the water through the hoses and out it comes in long jets. Here, the firemen are learning about the big ladders. They're used to rescue people trapped by flames and to put out fires in high buildings. All right, Nelson, lay aloft. Unfold the platform to test the telephone. And watch your step. Firemen must be able to run up the ladders quickly. Higher and higher still he climbs. Next, Officer Black takes Judy and Keith into the watch room. This is the place where all the fire alarms are received. There are firemen on duty here night and day, on the alert to safeguard our homes and lives against fire. Most big buildings have automatic fire alarms. If a fire starts in them, a bell rings here in the watch room. But when people report a fire, these firemen take the message at the big switchboard. Here is the wireless through which they can speak to firemen at a fire. And here is the big book where they keep a record of all fires and false alarms. There goes the alarm bell. 
It's a fire. General Woolstall, Clark Street. Attention, fire call. Turn out to a full code automatic alarm to General Woolstall, Clark Street. Now, we'll have to leave Judy and Keith behind. Down the busy street the engines go, while everything makes way for them. The firemen have the ladders up, and the hoses connected in double quick time. Each man knows exactly what job he has to do. The fireman has been overcome by the smoke, and they're giving him first aid. The firemen soon have the fire under control, and by their skill and courage, save all the nearby buildings from being burnt to the ground. time Judy and Keith see a fire engine go by, they can tell their classmates and their teacher too all about a fire station, how the firemen have to drill and study, and what happens when an alarm goes. Firemen have a hard job to do, their teacher says. They look after us well, and we should help them by always being careful with fire.